I'm Emily. Today we're continuing our series on tips and tricks for using the Python library pandas in Saturn. In this video, we're going to talk about how to reorder columns in a data frame. So there are several methods we can use for this. Which to choose is going to depend on the size of your data set and what exactly you want to do with it. So if you have a relatively small data set or need to specify a custom column order, you can simply reassign columns in the order you want them like this. So you have our data frame here with columns A, B, C, and D. Uh, and you can just use these double brackets to reorder to B, D, C, A. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, so that gives us a pretty simple way to rearrange all of our columns at once. So you can also accomplish the same thing using the built-in re-index method in Python or in Pandas, which is a little more efficient than the last method I showed you. So we're starting with the same data frame again. Uh, and we're specifying the same order, but this time we're using the re-index function. So it does the same thing and is a little faster than the last method. So while re-indexing is manageable for data sets with only a few columns like this, for larger, for larger data sets, manually writing out you know, thousands of column names can be kind of a pain. If you need to rearrange all columns into a custom order outside of simple sorting, unfortunately, there's not really a good way around this. However, if you just need to move a single column in your data set, the solution is much simpler. So we can move one column in pandas using list comprehension methods like this. Uh, so say, taking the same data frame, we want to take column D and add it to the beginning. So here we have column D and then all columns except for D. Let's see what that does. Okay, so that sticks column B on the front of this data frame here. Uh, so same thing, but we're moving column B to the end now. So we have all columns except B, and then we're sticking column B on the end. And that does exactly what we wanted to. So that's pretty useful. Uh, you can also move a column to a particular index by using pop and insert. Uh, so pop is going to pull a column out, and insert is going to stick that column back where we want it. Uh, an important thing to note is that these modify the data frame in place. So let's give this a try. On this data set here, we're going to take column D from index zero and try to move it to index one by popping it and then inserting it. Okay. And that does exactly what we want to. So moving one column around in a data frame is pretty easy. There's a few different ways to do this. Uh, and finally, in cases where you simply want to sort columns by name, you can use re-index from above uh, with the axis parameter here. So we're taking this data frame, A, B, C, B, and we're going to sort those columns by name with re-index. And we get out a nice sorted data frame. So in summary, depending on the size of your data set, you might be able to simply reassign or re-index data frame columns to the desired order. And for larger data sets where you are just moving a couple columns around, you might be better off choosing a solution that doesn't require writing out all column names. Good luck, and if you'd like to refer back to the article, just follow the link posted in the video description. Until next time.